All right, we got a big fight this weekend. Two of the best in the business. Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence go toe to toe in Big D. So why not have our local champ, Michael Carbajal, in studio to break down the big brawl? The local legend, Michael Carbajal, coming up next. This great battle taking place tomorrow night on pay-per-view. It's the main event of the evening. Both fighters undefeated. Both fighters pound for pound greats. This fight is for the, w the IBF welterweight championship of the world. The truth. Errol Spence Jr., Mikey Garcia facing each other for the final time before they meet in the center of the ring for tomorrow night's pay-per-view main event. All right, we're talking boxing. Who better to have in studio than the Manitas de Piedra, the Little Hands of Stone, the five-time world champion, Arizona legend, the Michael Carbajal. Michael, thanks for joining us, buddy. Just Thank you. talk to us about this upcoming weekend. Big fight, big fight for boxing fans, big fight for the sport. Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence, give us your thoughts on that. That's, I, think, I believe it's going to be a great fight um, with Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence. I, both of them, they got their styles, styles make fights, and I believe that's going to be a really, really great fight. Both undefeated, and both of them are vying to be pound for pound number one in the world. Welcome to the jungle. With a record of 39 victories without a loss, and 30 of those victories by knockout. 24 and 0 with 21 knockouts. He's going to think Mikey's really small until he feels, until he feels Mikey's punches. Once he finds that out, then it's going to turn into a brawl. He's going to say, man, I got to get this guy out of here. He's, he, he's a lot stronger than I ever thought. Mikey Garcia moving up. He's so hungry, he's moving up two weight classes, giving up three-inch height advantage, four-inch reach advantage. This is going to be a tough task for him. It's going to be a very, very, very big challenge, but I love that because Mikey took it. He called Earl Spence out, and he knew Earl Spence was the best welterweight out there right now. So um, I give Mikey a lot of credit, and that's what he wants. Just I, I love his interviews because what he says. He goes, I want to be the best in the world, so I chose the best, and that's Earl Spence. And if anybody knows brawls, it's you, and, and it's nice to see you getting recognized by the sport of boxing. You're getting ready to go into your fifth Hall of Fame, the National Boxing Hall of Fame coming up in April. You're going to be on Ring Magazine once again, deservedly so. What goes through your mind when you get a chance to go into the National Boxing Hall of Fame with a guy like Julio Cesar Chavez and, of course, your rival, Chiquita Gonzalez? Oh, that's it. It's a great honor. It was unbelievable because uh, that's not what I was going for, you know. I was just doing it for the love of it, for the love of fighting. I didn't know all of this was going to come. I just said, look, I want to be world champion. And I kept my mind like that and straight and, and said, look, here it goes. I'm going to be world champion. I'm a retire world champion. And you know what? God bless. I did it. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you want to win? <laughs> First of all, you know who I want to win now. So this is Mikey Garcia's trademark. So I'm going with Mikey. I just believe that um, he's a better skillful boxer, except he's a smaller guy. But um, I really think that Mikey's going to win. I say about, about seven rounds. Seven rounds. Seven All right, rounds. so he, he makes it into a brawl, and he takes him. In seven, he's going to heaven. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's okay. Michael Carvajal, five-time world champion, five-time Hall of Famer, needs to be an Arizona Hall of Famer. We're going to work on that. <laughs> Champ, thanks for coming Thank by, you. man. Appreciate it. Thank you. you. I appreciate it.